This is cycle two, week four science, experiment number 11 in Van Cleve's book, On the Move. This is a great practical demonstration of how friction uh, can be changed and how friction acts upon um, objects that are in motion. In order to uh, set up this experiment, you do need to do a little bit of pre-work and, and a small amount of practice uh, to make sure. You need a pie dish, metal pie dish. You need a marble, preferably a shooter sized marble, easily visible, and a piece of paper that you have cut out so that it will fit into your uh, pie dish. We'll talk about it more later. I would suggest, for especially for the older kids, that you maybe try a couple of different pieces of paper. So this is a paper towel that I cut out. You could also cut out just a plain piece of paper. And if you have a, a large sheet of, of um, sandpaper, that would be even better. Be sure, if you're going to do that, be sure and use um, something that has a lot of grit, like a, a 40 or a 60. You don't want anything that's very smooth, like a 220. It's too close to the regular paper. Okay, so now, to set this experiment up, we, tell our, we would uh, tell our students, we're, today we're going to look uh, at how friction acts upon objects that are uh, moving. Ask them the question, what is friction? Friction is any force that is, that is slowing down an object uh, that is moving. Friction can be caused by a number of things, but it always involves two things, the object in motion in, in contact with something else. So uh, that's what friction is. And then in order to, uh, to conduct our experiment, we're gonna take our piece of paper, have a piece of paper, and we're gonna put it into our pie dish. What we're ultimately going to do is compare two different states of the pie dish. We're going to change the amount of friction that acts upon our marble as it moves in the pie dish. And the first case is with the piece of paper at the bottom. Uh, it's important that when, in the two, when you're making the comparison between the two cases, that the marble have about the same velocity in the pie dish when you start. Uh, and you'll see that in just a second. So a little bit of practice is necessary in order to do that. But what I'm going to do is we're gonna put the marble into our pie dish, and then we're going to give it some motion. So we're gonna pick the pie dish up off the surface, and we're gonna begin moving it around so that I can get the marble moving. And then I'm gonna count down from three, and then we'll set the pie dish back down, and I'm gonna leave my thumb where, uh, where it sits on the pie dish so that we can then count how many times the marble passes my thumb as it's moving. Okay, so here we go. Start here, so up, off, I'm gonna get it rolling a little bit like this. We're gonna give it pretty good velocity. So we're gonna say three, two, one. One, two, a little more than two. Cool. A little more than two. Okay, so that was the first case. Now I'm going to change the, the friction that acts on my marble and I'm gonna remove the piece of paper. So now I have the, the marble and the pie dish alone. Here we go again, ready? So get it going. Okay. Pretty good velocity. I'm gonna say three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait for it. Wait for it. Can we get ten? Can we get ten? Ten? Maybe eleven? Oh, oh, look at that. Eleven. Clearly more. It clearly goes around more times. Um, it's possible that I may have miscounted. You may miscount as you're watching uh, the marble go around because in the beginning it's really humming, right? But, but that's okay. There's no question that it went around many more times than it did when I had the paper. Why? Because the presence of the paper in the bottom of the pan exerts more friction on the marble as it's moving than just the, the pie pan uh, alone. And for the younger kids, that I think that's the key illustration, and everybody can take a turn uh, practicing with it. For the bigger kids, I think it's worth, a worth asking the question, well, how could I change the amount of friction that's acting on the marble as it's moving? We have two cases here. We have pie pan and paper, but what else could we do with the same kind of design? And maybe, maybe lead them uh, in that way with those kinds of questions. And then if, if they're really stumped, then maybe pull up um, the sandpaper, for example, and just illustrate, well, we could change the, the identity of the paper. And so if we put something like sandpaper in, the paper towel, the smooth, the regular paper, and, the, and, the, um, and then compare all three of those cases to the pie pan alone, it would be really interesting to see what happens. I ask the students, which case do you think would have the, the most number of rotations of the three kinds of paper? Well, it should be the smoothest paper, right? It has the least coefficient of friction acting on the marble. Uh, and so you would predict the, the, the regular paper would have the would be closest to the pie pan, although I don't think anything will top the pie pan. Um, the, the paper towel, as we saw, it's pretty dramatic. It, it slows it down quite a bit, and the, the sandpaper should slow it down even more, especially a very coarse grit. So it's a very good illustration of friction. 
Um, this uh, relates very well to what we are studying in our cycle two science because uh, in outer space there are very very few molecules uh, of anything besides the, the molecules that are in the planets or in the stars, the asteroids, etc. Right? Um, there's no atmosphere, uh, and so there's very very little friction, and and so in outer space then um, inertia really rules, and so you are able then to um, we're able to launch rockets or or things like that, and once they break free of the gravitational pull of the Earth, they don't need a lot of power. Uh, we just need a little bit of power to make minor course um, changes because there's so little friction, they're able to just continue down their path. Um, and then as they get closer to planets and other things, then, then other things happen, of course. But a good illustration of a friction and, and how to vary it acting upon the marble. This is Cycle 2 Science, Week 4, Van Cleve Experiment 11 on the Moon.